Good evening, everybody, all you party people out there. My name is Cameron, and I hope you're having a wonderful, wonderful day so far, or evening, or bright day, or whatever it may be over there. Good vibes. Good vibes here in the party corner. This is the party corner. This is the party corner. You know, this is the party corner. This can also be the party corner. Really, we can be in whatever corner we want to. We're not particularly constrained to any particular cardinal direction, or like, sub-cardinal direction, because like, it's th that would be northeast-west. That would be northwest. I'm in the northeastern corner. That's where I am right now. Well, happy Monday, everybody. We skipped two weeks ago because family emergency, but that's okay. We're back and we're here. And my name is Cameron and your name is Habib. And there's also Dosni Kwan or Disney Queen, however you choose to pronounce that. Today, we're playing an indie game that I found on Amazon games and got for free from Prime Gaming once upon a time called Newfound Courage. I believe it's a story about love. I don't know how long it is. But we're going to take about an hour to fully appreciate whatever type of independent development went into a wonderful story such as this. I'm totally new to it. I don't know what to expect, so let's let's start things off from the beginning. There were apparently three chapters. I'm inclined to start at chapter one. However, it seems that I actually have the option to start at any chapter that I want to. But like all good stories, we'll start at the beginning. Although, come to think of it, there are probably many good stories out there that start at the end, but I can't quite think of any in particular off the top of my head. But alas, here we go. Newfound courage. Once upon a time, I was a boy. Oh, you were seven, 189 years after the time that was not counted, when your mother gave birth to the most beautiful boy and you became a sister. I became a sister, indeed. Does this go automatically or do I have to click things? I will click things. You click things. You knew instantly, even though you were young, that you loved this boy. Your instinct was to care for him. You knew this before you realized his mother wouldn't. Oh. Your young years were spent making sure he could have his. Under your watch, a perfectly healthy, strong, smart, but most importantly, happy young boy was raised. While chaos broke out around you, dragging you in, the boy stayed safe in the home you built for him. One day, when the boy was 14 years old, you saw a look he gave another boy. It was the first time you'd ever seen it, and you knew that this look was not the look he gave his friends. It was something special, new entirely. There is nothing this boy could ever do that would make you love him any less. However, this revelation had the power to drag the boy from the protections you so carefully built around him. Dearest, your phone is right next to me. I lost my phone! Anna lost her phone. It was hey, right next back. to me, and now it's my phone. It's my gone. Phone. You've heard hateful stories about those who romance others of their own gender here. Tell him to suppress his feelings. Tell him to embrace his feelings. Young man, do you love a young man? I say, young man, that's okay. That's what came to my mind immediately. You tell the boy he should embrace his feelings for the other boy, but you remind him to be careful. This type of love was dangerous in these types of places. The forest, remember. Homosexuality in the forest is dangerous according to this game so far. The boy doesn't seem to understand what you're saying. He says, but Ma, there's just trees and squirrels. Ma, what do they know of homosexuality? Oh, right, <laughs> and I am the sister. But sister, <laughs> what do the trees know of homosexuality? Young boy, you will soon learn. We're gonna learn you today. After this conversation, you notice the boy has become more reserved. He doesn't laugh as easily or as honestly. You see him lose his confidence and second guess his every action as he tries to manage the way others see him. Oh, is this where we begin? This must be where we begin. At a beautiful sunset. Oh, the, okay, now it's nighttime, it's evening. Eventually, because of your care, the boy heals, but you don't. You struggle every day with the knowledge that, despite your best intentions, you hurt the boy. Oh, well, you decide it was worse even because it came from you, me, the sister. Not the mother. That that kind of crisscrossing might get weird in this context, potentially. You resolve to not approach the topic anymore, but vow not to let anyone hurt him in this way again. You fasten the walls of the home, and inside you grow a garden, wild and beautiful. But years passed, and the boys magic magnetically attracted to one another are not able to keep from being together for long. Their friendship rekindles, stronger than it ever was. It was a Sunday morning when you noticed him acting strangely. It was the day after the two boys had spent a night together. The boy was sadder, sadder than you had seen him in a very long time. 
I'd ask what's wrong. I don't know if the boy will tell me anything, but at least I asked. Talking quietly and occasionally stammering, the boy describes the night before. The boy and his friend had been accompanied by some girls. Something happened between the boy's friend and one of the girls. Nothing more needed to be said. Oh. He leans his head on your shoulder as tears gently flow from his tightly shut eyes. Sounds like a realization to me. Something very, very sad. When the person you like potentially doesn't like you back. Bad situations like that. I've been in at least one of those scenarios. Where there was once a glowing warmth between the boys now, there was nothing but forest fires. We're in a forest. The imagery is appropriate. They fought angrily with words before. Eventually, they fought with their bare fists. Ouch. They're their fisticuffs. They're this conflict. Their relationship was revealed to all in the different light of the moon. And you weren't there. In the middle of the forest. But you found out. Your deepest held fear stinging with the cold that only uncovered secrets left too long to concentrate to. Concentrate do. To concentrate do. Oh, let thoughts too long to concentrate do. English is my first language, despite what, uh, despite what the context may portray right now. From his confinement, he saw you, a red blur of strength and anger, a deep flood ready to destroy any who flowed to harm the boy. Because nobody picks on my boy, my boy, my little brother. You found him broken, not far, not from the physical pain, but from the deep hurt on the heart that loved another who loved them back in a different way. A love that could only stretch so far because of something as trivial as biology, unrequited, but still love. You knew he could not heal here, not where there were people who knew what he was, not where he was in such danger. Go with him. Protect him. Do I go with him? No, we should walk away from the toxic people. Get, get, disengage. You packed the home you and the boy shared and you left, but forces followed. Jealous forces that were incapable of love. You knew they would never stop, that the boy would never heal. So while the boy was sleeping, you left to face them, but you didn't come back. The boy searched and waited for a long time. Eventually, the boy became disoriented. Disorientated? He had long since depleted his food and water supplies, and no kick of hunger or dry scraping of thirst would bring him to touch the half he saved for you. Oh, Did I just up and leave? Oh. Girl. Girl isn't me. It was just a moment before the end. The last time he would have opened his eyes. That's when he saw it. A home. A little cottage in the middle of the woods. That is the boy. This is our boy. Hello, boy. Oh, do I move? I move with the arrow keys and touch with the mouse. What is in this box? Is that an answer that I may obtain? Stump? No. I'm a very explorative type of person. I want to see what's around. No. I need help. Okay. Oh, just kidding. <laughs> I had to go to the door. I must go to the door. Hi there. Hey, girl. This your place? It was like the one you made. Not exactly the same. It was older. More warm. But just as nice. He was just like the one she lost. Not exactly the same. He was younger than he would be now. More broken. But just as nice. The boy's name was Alexander. The boy is Alexander. My boy. My boy is Alexander, I believe. Is what I'm inclining. Oh my god, the person is off the screen. Ha! <laughs> that was an interesting little game design trick there. Take the models, don't unload them, just put them off the screen. Or really, really far off the screen. But not necessarily completely. Art by Kurt Prieto. Prieto? Music by Jessica Kelly. This is pretty so far. I love, I've always loved like, pixelated, pixelated art. I really like pixel art. That's kind of a thing of mine. Alexander snores. A knocking is at the door. The door unlocks. Alexander! Wake up! Jake's here. Wait a minute. But that room is still gross. Don't come down unless it's clean, please, young man. Alexander keeps his room a little messy. It'll just get messy again. Oh, I must guess I must... Uh, the boy, Alexander, must have said it to himself. Not out loud. But I suppose I'm just gonna clean up. I'm a good boy. I'm a good boy. 
I'm a good boy. I clean up. I clean up the room. Did I just pick up a radiator? I don't know what that was in the corner of the room, but I'm inclined to think it was a radiator. All right. All right. I thought science fiction was banned during the time that was not counted. The time that was not counted. This is definitely in a post-apocalyptic world. And yet people still can't get over homosexuality. Jeez, dude. Fantasy novels. All of them. Every single one of them. Book. All clean. I'd better head downstairs. Task complete. Clean your gross room. It's disgusting. I mean, look at the color of that carpet. <laughs> disgusting. Just kidding. I love the color green. Hey. Hello. Come here, please, Alexander. Did you clean your room? Yes, but only because I fear you. Oh, please, you love me. Here, eat this. It's the croissant of power! So, Jake, would you like a croissant as well? Because you're not getting one unless you clean your room. I don't know where Jake lives. Is your mom still mad at me? Jake must live down the street. But his room is still not clean. Oh, Jake. Fine, yeah. She still thinks you drank all that wine. I didn't. This time, at least. I... Leave me out of this. Huh. Fine. Alexander, are you... Oh, <laughs> look at you. Oh, I have eaten the croissant twice? No, I have eaten the croissant three times. I am putting an entire croissant into my mouth and then pulling it right back out. Or at least the boy is. It's not me. I'm the sister. The sister, I am not here. Hungry boy. Hungry boy. Are you ready to go to the vault? <laughs> the vault? <laughs> that sounds foreboding. Woohoo! Yeah, let's go to the vault! Ugh. Cringe. I didn't have context on what the vault was. <laughs> Great. Let's get the flip out of here. <laughs> language. Thank you, Jake. Thank you, Jake. Thank you for watching your language. He said flip. Flip, you better hurry after him. See, that's funny because she said language and then the boy used the language and then, you know, or rather the opposite way around. Better go after him. I'm going. Please be safe. The vault is so dang. You know what? You'll have a wonderful time. I won't spoil it for you. Have a great day. You too, Nora. Thanks for your breakfast. Thanks for breakfast. It was super yum. Every single time I put it in my mouth. The manners on that kid. They're too good for someone his age. Poor thing. Time to go back to chopping up another croissant. Oh, solve. Solve. I, she, this woman has the magical powers of duplicating croissants. Things are finally starting to feel better. That's great. Now that I've figured out my croissant duplication glitch. Hey, wait up! It's Alexander, right? Sorry about that. My mom is fighting with Nora over some dumb missing wine. My name's Jake, by the way. It's nice to meet you, Jake. It's nice to meet you, too. Come on, follow me. I've got a bunch to do today. <laughs> I'm looking forward to going to the vault. What's up? Oh, nothing. Let's go. <laughs> Shall we? Shall we venture to the vault together, hand in hand, single file line? Before we head to the vault, I need to show you around. I do? Oh, no, no, that's Jake. That's the other guy. Before we head to the vault, I need to show you around. Show you some of my favorite alleyways, creeks, and interstices. Sometimes you'll need to come to town and chase up overdue books and stuff. So it'll be useful for you to know where things are. But if you want to work things out for yourself, that's, that's cool too. You know what? Take me on the grand tour. The grand tour, grand tour. Great. Dragon Ball GT. Oh, flip. <laughs> oh, flip. We're already so late. Better hurry. <laughs> gotta, gotta run to the bookstore. Gotta run to the library. This is the water. Perhaps it's the pier. Or maybe a restaurant? Stanley lives in that blue building on the end. Hey, look! It's Stanley! There he is now. Good morning, Jake. And you must be Alexander. Good morning to you, too. Good morning, Stanley. Anyway, moving on. Stanley's not important. Marge lives in this yellow one. And, uh, Heather. She's in the red one. We gotta run. See ya, Standy. Stanley? 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 Okay! Bye now, kids. Alright, peace out, Girl Scout. Boy Scout? All Scout? Person Scout? Scout Scout. This is my family's pub. We live upstairs. And that purple building over there, it's abandoned. 
but I'm sure you'll be able to go inside. Video games work like that, I assume. I've never played a video game before. And I nearly forgot, this is Peggy's house. You can tell it's Peggy's house because she has four pegs in front with a tent over it. AKA a lemonade stand, perhaps. She's originally from Silver Pine, but she spent a really long time in Otherware. We don't talk about Otherware. She just got back from Otherware. She doesn't like to talk about it. Or perhaps he's an open book on the matter. Honestly, who knows? That statue's missing a head. That statue's also missing a torso. Incredible. Behold! <laughs> Just kidding. Yo, check it, man. It's the vault. <laughs> the vault of Silver Pine. Whoa. Whoa, dude. That's a vault? That looks like a mansion. My god. Whoa. All right. There's grass growing on top of the vault. That's cool. Hey! Rico, listen to me. I'm getting very tired of having this conversation with you. But Kay, the red sendings are acting strangely. You know they are. They're doing nothing they are not supposed to be doing. But what about that one that ate all of Heather's flowers? Marge is still angry about that, you know? Well, sendings do eat flowers, and the vault as well as the sendings. They're ancient. It is no surprise that some things don't work. Others will. Burned purple in the fireplace. I've gone slightly mad. All right, well, well, what about... Children! Who goes there? This is basically a library. My goodness, you're finally here! I was sure you'd be eaten by some monster from otherwhere. <laughs> Very funny. But I'm gonna pretend that was genuine concern. Rico, I don't have time for this. Make sure those two are kept busy. Okay, but that conversation is not over. Oh, it most certainly is. <laughs> Whatever. How rude of me. You must be Alexander. My name's Rico. Hi, Rico. Nice to meet you. Right back at you. Fab, right? Jake, I need you with me. We have some cleaning up to do. Oh, what? I was meant to show Alexander around. I know. But last night, some red settings made a huge mess. So you and I gotta get to clean it up. In the meantime, Alexander, you'll find a box just near the entrance. It's full to bursting with books that need to be returned to their shelves. Put them away. Now. Or don't. Nobody's stopping you. It's a video game. You make your own choices. You'll need to return them to the shelves. Do you think you can manage that? Seriously, though, but do I have to? Do I have to? She's gonna say, yeah. <laughs> yes, obviously. Oh, and one last thing. We're on the ground floor right now. Don't go any higher than the second level. It's too risky f for now. Come on, Jake, let's go. See ya, Alex. Peace, boy. <laughs> Journal updated. Empty returns box. Empty returns the box. I am the box. Return me, empty. Collect returns. Put books away. Nope, not over there. Perhaps I put books away here. Nope, also unfortunate. Book? Book? Book. There we go. There's a couple of books. Returned. So your friends are all about to die. Was that the name of that book? I didn't see who it was from. Returned. Let's get the flip off this planet by Julian Durand. Two out of seven. Oh, there's a lot of books around here. Can I throw a book in the fire? The clock is stuck at one pa minute past midnight. Yeah. It is kind of one minute past midnight. Is it midnight, though? I don't know. Not over here, it isn't. Not midnight over here. Man, this is... Love tasks. Hey, look, there's something off the screen. What is that thing? Hello? What? It? Whoa. Oh, I can go in those... I can go in different directions. Oh! That's pretty cool. I did not realize that I could walk off screen for a moment, but I guess I needed to figure that out eventually, or else I wouldn't be able to put the books away. Return 57 things to do before you die by Jose Medrano. There's a lot of things about dying. I'm gonna go upstairs. Rico said I shouldn't go past the first floor. But I want to, though. But I want to go up the thing. Fine. Clearly the steps were not meant for me. Meant for somebody else entirely. Or perhaps further plot development. Returned So You Lost a Doomsday Weapon by Jose Schroeder. What doomsday weapon, though? Is it one that brings about the end of the world? Or is it doomsday like another thing? A beginner's guide to being mean. 
by Ernest something or other. I missed that. What is on the table? Can I grab this? Can I grab this lamp? I would like to grab this lamp if I can. I'm also intrigued why the fire is burning purple and how the fire is actually extending out of the fireplace and the fact that the mantle around it has not caught on fire. This is concerning in a way. Hey, there's trees in here. That's pretty cool. Interesting. Book. Put the book away. Return the most pleasant ways to die by Daphnia. I want to know what the most pleasant way to die. I would think, I think the most pleasant way to die would be peacefully. That's what I would think. Or either peacefully or all at once. One of the, one of the two others. Potentially both. Return box empty. Yep, it's empty. What do I do now? Wait, what was that? Hmm. In your sleep at 121. That's the best way to die. That's what Disney Queen wants me to do. Maybe one day. Oh, hello. What are you doing? Now, come on, man. That was flipping rude, yo. Wait, um, could, could you not do that? <laughs> I'm gonna put the books on the ground. Seriously, bro. That's not, that's not cool. Also, why am I just walking past them? Now, now listen here, you little... You are little, it seems. Unbelievable. Gone. Oh, and now you're gone again? Guess I'll put them back. What a jerk. Clean up after the book vandal. Vandal book. Ugh. Destroy humanity in six simple steps. Easy. It's six simple steps. Step one, destroy humanity. Step two through six, revel in it. Return. Journal updated. Claim after the book Vandal complete. Vandal complete. Oh, he's back. It's a frivolous task. Why are you like this? Bro, bro, sis. Persona. Cut it out, dude. Oh, no, you don't. I'm gonna stop you right now and fall down the stairs. Or not. Hey, dude. Ha! Caught you, you Vandal. I... Oh, hold on. I don't even know your name. There's something wrong with that bookcase, isn't there? There must be. Investigate the bookcase. How about I pick up the books? I'm a responsible young man. I'm gonna pick up after the books that the vandal threw on the ground. Jeez. What an ass. Return, the world is ending. Quit cleaning by Wang Yi. <laughs> that makes sense. Might as well. Dude, what if the world is ending and that's why our main character so far has questioned the need to pick up after his gross room? Honestly, feels very valid. Hmm. I wonder what's behind this oddly out of place bookshelf. I guess I could just push it. Push. Oh, push. A door. I guess that makes sense. I mean, it kind of does it though. Something doesn't make sense about the book, the door behind the bookshelf. But alas. Investigate the room. The room. It looks like a tomb. Hey, dude. Um, what are you doing here? Um, hi there, little guys. Little people. Okay, there's more of you. What, are you gonna throw books off the wall just like last time? Your other little friend over there? Ah, flip. I think... Why is a tree inside? Why don't we have trees inside? Because the government doesn't want us to adhere to social norms, keep tree outside. I think I might be in trouble. Time to engage in fist on fist combat! Or run away. Also valid. Probably less scary in that way. Oh, they're chasing me. Run away faster! It's pretty much fighting with your feet against the ground. <laughs> what the flip, what the flip, what the flip, what the flip! Oh, it's you. What in other way do you think you're doing? A bunch of red things! They're chasing! They've stopped. There! They, they all look like angry little red versions of that statue! Mm hmm. You're as bad as Rico. I'm too busy for this. I won't get the overdue books from Marge and mm, Heather. Uh, pff, I just returned all the books. I did my job. Spooky. Anyone who walks that slow means business or has a limp. And I just pointed it out to the general public. How insensitive of me. I'd better do what she says. 
and not mention any any disabilities again. Running is just falling, but controlled. That is your perspective. And I think running is more akin to perpetually falling, which is exactly what you just said. Marge and Heather's books won't be in here. Wh where would they be? In Marge and Heather's house? Can I jump in the water? Can I climb this tree? There's trees outside and inside. That's cool. All right, where your books at? Must be over here in the vault. Oh, what? Oh, hi there. I'm. I somehow got to the top of the vault. Cool. What is this thing? Oh. Okay. Can't. Oh. Oh, I have to follow this thing. I understand. Oh, <laughs> I missed it. Oh my goodness. I'm gonna follow this light. I'll get to the end. I'll get the books. Oh no. I'm perpetually failing. That's what it's like. Perpetually falling. Perpetually failing. I'm just gonna wait for the little light to come back. I wouldn't want to lose my way, goodness forbid. I might die or something like that. Something scary like that. Alright. Next light. Come on, little light. Little will o' the wisp. Show me the way. Show me the way. Show me the way. It's a book! Lore book, chapter discovered, 1 out of 10. Wow, look at that. Lore book, chapter 1 out of 10. If you're reading this, beware. For things in the town of Silverpine are not at all they seem. I have hidden chapters all around the town that each reveal a hidden trunk. Truth. Seek them all out if you want to know the whole story. Not all the chapters will remain hidden, and some will only reveal themselves when they are needed. Good luck, and I'll be watching you. Very, very interesting. Lore books. Do I pop back to the beginning if I... Oh, nice, nice. The puzzle is over. Maybe? The puzzle is over. I can now walk freely. That was not the book that I was looking for. However, I'm glad to have found it nonetheless. That's pretty cool, though. This game's got a couple of uh, secret stuff. Maybe. Maybe there's like a true ending if I get all the lore books. Honestly, I had... I had very little idea of what this game was supposed to be. I thought it was going to be more like a visual novel type thing based on like the Steam description, which I read like two months ago, so I don't even recall what it was. I just remember the key points about love. That's pretty much all. I wonder if I can find a book out in these forests. Oh wait, there's a... Is that a dude? That looks like a dude down there, but it might not be. <gasps> Mosquito! Nope, it's a bird! I am very easily distracted by things. Well, now that I know that there's, like, secret stuff around, like, I'm inclined to think that there's more of that, and now I'm like, I have to check everywhere. Everywhere. Even the same trees multiple times. Perhaps there's something in there. Perhaps there's something down there. Can I jump into the water? From what I can tell so far, the answer is no. But honestly, I wouldn't know. I don't know exactly how expansive this game is, so for all I know, all the secrets are in the town. Although I would suppose not. Hey, what's on this rock? Hey, people down there. Hi, people. Hi. Oh, there's also a cloaked person. Hi, dude. Oh, that's Julian. That's the one of the people who wrote the books. <laughs> I'm a comedic tailor. I'd make you a joke, but I've run out of material. <laughs> um, no thanks, dude. You're actually making me incredibly uncomfortable with these puns. That was a joke. <laughs> okay, dude. So you sell- so you sell jokes? That was the other guy. Finally! <laughs> you get it! Pay up, kid. Why do you need a market stall for that? I don't understand. <laughs> Go away, kid. We're in business. I don't like that guy. Hey, dude. I'd talk to you, but I'd rather talk to this one. Now nah, I'm gonna talk to this guy first. You were here first. Ooh, oh, 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 oh. Leave Sadie alone! Um, Sadie, what do you have to say for yourself? <gasps> Leave Sadie alone! Okay, how about you? Hey, new kid, you look like a chump! Wanna help me out here for a minute? Did you just call me a chump? What is a chump? I don't even know how to spell that word, despite the fact that it's very clearly written right in front of me. What? No! I didn't call you a chump. <laughs> Called you a loser! You gonna help me or what? Sure, dude. Just get off my case. <laughs> Alright, follow me, bub. Into the forest. Oh, yo. Hi, bub. Here's the deal. At the end of this hallway, there's a key. Get it for me. I'll give you a little something special. If the sending see you, they'll teleport you away. 
So the trick is to sneak by. Capiche? What does capiche mean? And how do you spell that? And does it come from the same language as Baba Ganoush? No one alive knows the answer to that question. Off you go, Baba Ganoush. Would you call me? Freaking kid. All right, so I should just not be seen by the, the who's he what's it's. Easy. Easy. Oh! <laughs> the trick is not to get seen. Weren't you listening? No, I very clearly was not. Also, how would I know if I can't see in front of me? As soon as the sending pops into frame, it can see me. I have no way of knowing. Oh, well, that's fine. I'll just go this way then. All right, I have literally no- Oh, okay, okay. This is valid. I don't- Oh, no! I made a mistakey. Do you like getting teleported or something? Kid, I will end you. So watch it. Buddy, look the other direction. Look the other direction. I like your cloak, actually. It kind of looks like those, those like altitude maps where like, like surrounding the mountains, there's a lot of circles and stuff. Like that's what those remind me of, honestly. It's pretty cool. All right, dude. I should have gone, but I did not. Now both turn. Nope. Okay. Is this a matter of luck and patience? Luck and patience. Faith, trust, and pixie dust. <laughs> yeah, dude. I got the key. Easy mode. Now do you need to bring it back? Oh, I teleport back automatically. Epic. Wow. You did it! I'm weirdly proud of you, bub. Thanks, I think. You're most welcome. Here's your reward. Is it a lore book? Lore book chapter discovered. Chapter two. Chapter two of 10. Did you know, dear reader, that this town was founded by three people and ascending? Yes, ascending. Get it? Ascending, like you ascend to the sky. <laughs> we sell jokes around here. That'll be two bits. No, don't actually. The founders embodied a specific value and created their own books and their own sendings in their image. The vanity of some people. Then they created a vault to lock away the things that con contradicted their ideas. How very undemocratic. By the way, what was that sendings deal? The one who helped build the town? Does this mean one of the founders is a wild sending who still lives in Silver Pine? The world may never know, and the world doesn't want to know. Now get out of here! You get out of here! Unless this is your home, in which case, please, stay warm, child. Can I bother What was your name? Ooh, Sadie. Sadie, Sadie, Sadie. Sadie, 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 Sadie. Hey, girl, Nora. I believe your name was Nora. Do you have books to deliver? Books to books to return to the store? What's up here in our backyard? Are there people over here? Hey, kiddo, it's better you don't go up there alone. There'll be no one to catch you if you fall. Yeah, that's a good point. It's a good thing I'm a lone wolf. And so is this tree. Oh, a lore book. Nice. Chapter three of 10. Of course, what the founders locked away was arguably causing havoc. You see, dear reader, the world used to be a very developed and relatively harmonious place. But then the apocalypse. Until, of course, it ended exactly what I said, the apocalypse at the end of the sentence. We stand but on the bones of a once glorious civilization. Was it those wild sendings that were killing the world, or was it something else? Did the three people in ascending send the world when they locked all the wild sendings away, or did they set the path for its impending doom? Again, the world will probably never know, and the fact that you keep, like, pulling the string, the little carrot in front of me, for that chase after it is... Just dang disappointing. Anyway, let's clean up trash. I wonder if this is that missing wine Nora and Jake's mom are fighting over. I should give this back to Jake's mom. I should. And this book. Collect overdue book from Heather complete. How was I supposed to know this is Heather's area? Interesting. I also have learned, now that I can click on a tree, I should click on more trees often. Click on trees all the time. Don't go up north without my parents' permission or somebody to go along with me. Tree, you are yellow. Click, no. To the beach, nope. That's all you get. Anything down this way? Jump off cliff, nope. That would just be disappointing. Almost as disappointing as the end of the world, perhaps? <laughs> no, 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 much worse. All right, well, stump, bush. Honestly, 
Now that I now that I clicked on that one tree out of nowhere, purely because I was just goofing around, I'm gonna wind up clicking on everything because I'm like, where's the secret? The secret's gotta be around here somewhere. I really hope they don't get this big. The sendings? Oh man, certainly wouldn't want a sending looking me in the eye. That would that'd be creepy. Uh, I'd appreciate it if you knocked. Oh, it's you, the new kid, Alexander. Is it? They don't always knock in other way, do they? My name's Peggy. I'm an explorer. Well, I guess a retired explorer now. It's nice to meet you, Peggy. You too. So, so you're gonna let me stay in your house? Cool, I'm gonna take your book. That book's not overdue. Okay, can I sleep in your bed? No, person? Can I, can I, can I climb up your chimney? No? Book? Book? Peggy is writing about her time in otherwear. Otherwear? Underwear? No, that joke didn't need to be made. Peggy? Sorry, kid. I'd love to chat, but this work isn't going to do itself. And, well, I'm kind of running out of time. The end of the world is upon us. Did you hear? No, 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 no. Not those silly fairy tales that some would call history books. No, no, no. Like actual Armageddon. Aren't you excited? Oh, I'm excited. It's locked. I knew it. And the abandoned building is also locked, right? If this place is abandoned, why is it so well kept? It gives me the creeps. I'm not going in. No way. Not in this chapter, I won't. But perhaps in others. Boxes, boxes, secret lures, secret lures. Secret lures and boxes. What if I touch the sending statue in the corner? I cannot proceed in that direction. Probably for my own good. This is this is a good thing. I appreciate that this game is trying to keep me protected. Let's go down here. Hello! Oh, remember? Oh, they did say that it's somebody's house was back here. They specifically introduced me to folks, only for me to forget them. And I rem don't remember any person except for Stanley. Stanley? Do you have overdue books? I'll check on you in just a moment. I have to check your boxes first. All this produce and whatnot, if it stays out like this, is probably gonna go bad. Honestly, guys. Come on. Come on. Stanley! Stanley, my boy! What do you have for sale, my boy? My old man. My old man boy. Hi again, Alexander! Are you here to pick something up for Kay? No, sorry, Stanley. I'm trying to get some overdue books back from Heather and Marge. Oh, you should speak with them first! <laughs> the best way to take care of your problems is via confrontation, which I have a crippling fear of. <laughs> Please get out of my store. They'll be either in the red or yellow building beside this one. That Marge. What a lady. She often reads laying beside the ocean near Norrell's cottage. Which is a lovely thing to do. No, let me tell you what a lovely thing it is to educate your mind. But she has a dreadful habit of leaving whatever she was reading behind. Like books. Oh, that was going to be my hint to go into the beach to get Marge's book. Nice. Well placed. I appreciate the hints, developer. If you're out there, I appreciate this thus far. Hi, dearest. Anna appreciates this thus far, too. You have the approval of two denizens. It's locked. All right. My approval has retracted just a little bit. I can do whatever I want. This is my show. My show. Just kidding. It's our show. Retraction. Relinquished. Oh! Yes, can I help you? Hello, are you Heather? Obviously, what do you want? You have a book overdue at the vault? Sorry to be so blunt about it, but I'm getting tired of this. Pineapple healing for people who believe that nonsense by people who probably also believe that nonsense. An autobiographical piece. Gosh, that's a mouthful. I think it's a wonderful title. S sorry, do you have it? No, I don't. I lost it. Oh, well, do you have any idea where you might have lost it? No. Wait, actually, it's near some waves and wine. Now, if you'll excuse me, I just realized I'm late for... an appointment. With a person elsewhere. Move, thank you. Get out of my way. Please get out. Please let me get out of my own house. Sorry. That's okay, sweetheart. Oh, I mean, good. You, you should be. Silly child. You seem like you're suffering, ma'am. And that's okay. We all have bumps in our journey. Or sometimes the altitude changes forever. Okay, can I, you got any books? Got any books? I'm looking for lore, lady. Lady? Apothecarium? You got any weed in here? All this stuff looks healthy. Wow! Cannabis? 
don't mind if I do. It smells funny. Whoa! Of course it smells funny. It's medicinal. Probably. Right? Yeah. Give me some of that good stuff, Granny Heather. You might not actually have children. Okay, okay. Where are you, where are you going? That was... Alternative health goods for the alternatively living. Healthy. Healthy. Open on the Sunday before the crescent moon. Except in the autumn when we are open every second Tuesday before 3.51 p.m. But only after 11. Which means you're open from the hours of 11 a.m. to 3.51. Well, that was confusing. Is there a, a QR code for like a link to a Google Calendar on there? Because I feel like it'd be easier that way if I'm a regular. And you, purveyor of fine sweets, open on pleasant days. Today is a pleasant day indeed. Oh, hi there. I'm Marge. <clears throat> I'm Marge, purveyor of fine sweets. How can I help you on this lovely day? I was just here for... Wait, let me guess. You want a lollipop. <laughs> here we are. You want a lollipop, don't you? You came here to try a delicious sweet. Take this! <laughs> it's soap in a bottle! Oh. It was not soap in a bottle, not unless it tasted really good. Wow, that was yum. But I'm just here to collect an overdue book from the vault. Oh my goodness, it had completely slipped my mind. Let me get it for you. It's in my cash register. Here you are, sweetheart. Thank you, lady! Journal updated. Return to the vault. Back to the vault I go to deposit my books. Well, thank you very much, Marge. I appreciate you. You can call me Grandma Marge if you'd like. You can still call me Grandma Marge if you'd like. You can also call me Christina. It's a lovely name. I once knew a girl named Christina. Sorry, sweetheart, that door is for staff only. Oh, my dear friend, Christina. Not my actual friend, Christina. A fictional character, Christina, who I have now made up to live in this universe. Although, I wonder how Christina's doing. I'm sure she's doing lovely. I am going to go back to the vault. The vault of power. The vault of unknowing. The vault of self-discovery. The vault of pole vaulting, with which I will throw myself into fate. Not up a cliff. You're not allowed to do that in this game, to my knowledge so far. Although, you know for a fact, I'm going to continue trying. Journal updated. Collect overdue books. Complete on! Hey, Alexander. Hey, Alexander. It's Jake. Hey, Jake. Good job getting those overdue books from Marge and Heather. They can be tough to deal with. Sorry, I had to go help Rico most of the day. Hey, No problem, my man! Howdy there, Dom! How are you doing this fine, wonderful evening? I'm gonna go help out my buddy Jake over here. He's a... Woo! He's quite the catch! Phew, I was worried you'd feel neglected. Don't worry. I never neglect people. I just forget about them for prolonged periods of time. It may seem like the same thing, but it's not. One has malicious intent. I've still got some stuff to show you. I'm upstairs. Is that rain? If you didn't bring an umbrella, you can share mine. Oh, y'all shouldn't share my umbrella. My umbrella's back here. Where my umbrella at? This is my umbrella. It's got a lot of polka dots all over it, and it's awesome, and I would open it indoors. However, um, it's very, very large. Dom says, it's been a long day. Just got into season three of Stranger Things with their aunt. Ooh. I, for one, have been binging a lot of TV recently. I am caught up with the boys. I watched all of up to season four of Infinity Train, and I'm now finishing up Arcane. Don't spoil it for me. Oh, I have I have no spoils for, um, for, um, oh, what was it? Stranger Things. Stranger? Yeah. I have questioned, Disney Queen. How does any of this library stuff relate to the intro about being gay? It's just an a it's exposition about our character. Come on, dude. And perhaps Jake is my lump interest. I have a... Actually, well, technically... So the intro... 
To catch y'all up, the intro was from the perspective of our main boy, Alexander's older sister, who just up and left one day after protecting Alexander from a fight because he was just d and who we be. And uh, the, the, there was also a boy that he liked, I think, but that boy liked a girl and it made Alexander very, very sad. And then he wandered through the forest and found another home and now there's a boy who lives down the street, Jake, and apparently the end of the world happened or something like that. Still gotta watch the boys. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I will say nothing about the boys. Aside from... For people who need this kind of con context, if you're thinking about watching the boys, but you're not a fan of sexually or gory explicit things, you probably shouldn't watch the boys. You can read the clip notes, but no spoilers from me. It's, ent it's, it's entertaining so far, I will say that. And I also like the dark political stuff of it all in an odd kind of way. Welcome to Koala and Cream, where we serve koala meat and cream, but never at the same time. My family's pub, you should go around the room and meet everyone. Or don't. I'll get us some drinks from my mum. Mingle with the town folk. I certainly will. Ooh. You could spoil the boys for Dom. Not 100% invested in it. It's a bunch of superheroed people being just people, I guess. And a lot of them are just really bad folk. There's a lot of, there's a lot of like, mixing and stuff going on. A lot of people exploding as well. If you do like the gory stuff, you'll like the boys. You will like the boys. Anyways, let's talk to the people. What's up, Kay? Rico tells me you completed your work today with distinction. Well done. Thanks, dude. Appreciate it. What about you, Stanley? I hope you get to meet Peggy. She's wonderful. She only just got back from other way, so you're quite lucky. Indeed. Who are you? <laughs> Jake's dad. Hello, Alexander. I'm Sienna and Jake's dad. They're siblings. Did you not know that? I birthed both of them. Well... My wife did, I think. I don't remember if we're married or not. The game has not provided that explanation yet. Anyway, I'm Jake's dad. Again, surely there's more to you than that. Ha! Oh, surely there's more to you than that. Ha! Not that I know of. I'm a very simple man. I wear glasses and I'm balding, but I don't. I bald by choice. I'm okay in this position. Good for you, Jake's dad, who remains unnamed. Dom imagines people with powers would be a little vain. Oh, <laughs> yes. Yes, indeed. And it also covers the question I've had about superpowers of the whole, like, just because you have superpowers, does that mean it's a good thing? Not necessarily. Anyway, hey, lady. I've had, I've had <laughs> too many <laughs> cosmopolitans. <gasps> Ooh, I feel like <laughs> I don't do a very good hiccuping grandmother. <laughs> Sounds like I'm gonna sneeze. I'm trying to get my mom to give us beer. Oh, you do have a mother. That's, that's, that's nice to hear, actually. Good that you have two parental figures in your life. Hey, you must be Jake's mom. And you must be Alexander. It's lovely to meet you. And you too. Listen, I found this bottle of wine by an overdue book of Heathers. What? You did? Show me. Oh no. This is the one I thought Nora took. I feel terrible. I'll have to apologize to her next time I see her. And poor old Marge is day drinking again. Marge! Girl. Thanks, Alexander. I said Heather. Oh, yes. Of course you did. You're a lovely boy for saying that. Here, take this as a thank you. Lore book chapter discovered. Four out of ten. What does it say? Chapter four of ten. Now, of course, dear reader, if you have found any of these chapters, you must be familiar with the wonderful oasis of safety, community, and knowledge that is Silver Pine. Have you been to the rest of the world? Bet you haven't. Maybe you have, but you probably haven't. There are no guiding values in Otherware. It's near anarchy. No one who has ventured to after when has ever returned. Is it because they have better cheeseburgers? Or is it something more sinister, like poisoned cheeseburgers? Should those of us in Silver Pine be helping them? Well, surely if you want a piece of the poison burger, you should be. But I imagine you don't. What about y'all over here? You had a... You had a daughter. You, 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 Sierra, are Jake's sister. Buzz up, bud. I'm talking to Rico. I, I'd like to talk to Rico if that's okay with you. I'm, she's technically my superior, I think. I, I return books sometimes. Sienna's a bit rude, but she's sweet when you get to know her. Or after you bribe her. <laughs> I use candy. 
Do you? I don't know. Make with the town for complete. Oh, a bunch of sending just walked in. Why cheeseburgers? Why not cheeseburgers? It's a very simple question to answer. Oh no, not these things again. Dude, chill. They're just different than you. Right? Everyone's cool with the sending, right? What's the matter? What's the matter, Alexander? Nothing. Except, well, those, those things are trouble. They kept flinging books off the shelves. Alexander, you can't be so harsh on them. That's how they practice their religion. Oh, how insensitive of me. They're called sendings. What did they do? Well, there was this white one that led me to this room. It's not white. It's just blank. Oh, hush, Sienna. You know that's not true. Alexander, sendings are always either blue, red, or green. Well, this one was white. Blank. It can't be. The legend of the blank sending. A blank sending. A blank message. Sorry, go on with your story. I went on an internal tangent for a moment. Oh, did I say that out loud? <laughs> Silly old me. After through half the books I put away on the ground, it led me to a room full of red ones that chased me out of the vault. Right in the K2. But she doesn't seem so mad, so that's good. Is that so? Then I have to go. Excuse me. Certainly I wasn't drinking too much today. What? You're leaving? Why? Like, right now. Um, no time to explain. I gotta, I gotta go. Real bad. I've gotta send something, if you know what I mean. Not relating to these little sandy boys. Girls, I don't know what they're packing on the van. Frankly, I'm too afraid to ask. Well, um, certainly nothing to read into there. Hey, buddy. Anyway, you should know that sendings are harmless. They exist to maintain the vault. That's all. That's probably why they were throwing books on the ground. That's their place. On the ground. Not on the shelves. Except that. All right, flippers. <laughs> Marge is sloshed. Hey, excuse me, miss. <laughs> it's, it's, it's two up time. Let's, let's do the dance of my people. <laughs> I'm cutting you off, Marge. What do you say, Stanley? I'll take heads. You're on. Come on, Alexander. I'll teach you how to play. What are we playing? Two up? So our super sober friend March here is going to flip three coins. You either pick heads or tails. If all or the majority are the one you pick, then you win. So why not just flip one coin? Well, there's a version of this game where the person flipping the coins can win. But let's face it, March doesn't care. She sloshed, I mean, sober. Are you ready to lose? No, but I'm ready to win. Would you like heads or tails? Today I read an article about the creator, the developer, of the little green light that blinks on some of these smartwatches to determine your pulse rate and whatnot. It was created by a developer who was a furry cheetah. And because cheetahs have tails, I will go with tails. All right, tails are yours. Marge, flip them, girl. Woo! I chose tails, right? Yo, kangaroos. That was all about the fun of the game. All right, two heads. I win. By the way, we're playing for secrets. I want to know all of yours. Not just because you're from otherwhere. Because... I like you. Oh. Yeah, okay. Here comes round two. Heads or tails? Tails? They taste so good. What, cheeseburgers, cheetahs, or kangaroos? I'm lost. There's been a lot of context. I'm a classic American, and if someone offers me a burger, I'll eat it. The burger. Yeah, I love burgers. Although I try to avoid red meat sometimes because it activates my internal ability. Acid reflux. Given the ability, I can spit acid from my mouth. Although it doesn't help anybody, and it certainly doesn't help me. But I like me a burger every once in a while. If there's pickles, though, they're all off. But the bets are all off when the pickles are on the burger. I love pickles. I actually had to convince myself to like pickles, and now I love those little spears. Okay, I'll take heads. Obviously. Come on, heads! 
Marge, who are you even playing against? Here we go! <laughs> we got Tails! We got Tails! We got... Tails! It's Tails! Oh, Tails in a landslide. Well done! You got a secret about me now, too. Here's the secret. I like you. Maybe in a like-like kind of way. If you, uh... Want it? Secret if I want it. I do want it. I want your secrets. Now, you lad, take a deep breath. Calm down. Okay. Oh. Look what you've done. You scared the poor souls half to death. But, but I... I barely whispered. Jake, make sure they get home safely. Safely, please. Okay. Um, but I'm bringing Alexander. He won against me in a game of twos up. That's important. Dom says that he has ADHD and needs to consume an excess amount of meat in order to get a proper protein diet from it. Well, ADHD isn't the big reason, but it's a factor to their metabolism. Anna says, slash. I don't know the context of that. Dude, if you need all that, those calories and stuff, calories, I said calories, the protein and whatnot, bulk up, dude. I don't know when bulking season is, but some would say that bulking season is all the time, and if you choose to practice a proteinaceous type of diet, then there should be nothing stopping you. Also, because, like, burgers taste good, dude. The cheese, the lettuce, the tomato on there, the pickle, sometimes a little bit of mustard, <laughs> sometimes a ketchup, brioche butt, sesame seeds. Oh my goodness. Sorry, I hiccuped a bunch. I've been drinking the coffee that's at my desk, which I apparently have not touched in an hour, and also had banana ice cream before the stream started. It was delicious. Typical. It stops raining as soon as it's nighttime. That's no fun. All right, so to make sure the sendings get back to the vault safely, we have to go to the vault. You gotta give them a little spook. They run straight back into the vault if you do that. Not a big spook, just a little one. I take it you've done this before? So, so many times. I'm gonna go to the outside of the vault and see if any are hiding there. You do the town. Okay. Sounds good! I'm all for doing the town. I think there were five sendings in the pub. Alright, minigame time. Spook. Five sendings. First, I'll spook sending number one. Well, you're not very good at hiding. Sending spooked. Sending- oh, oh, I thought I was sending spooked as in something was spooked. And I was sending it. That's hilarious. Can I go in this building now? Were those lights on before? They were not. Obviously. Also, I like to imagine that ooh is just like- It's a sound that was put there like interpretatively. That they're actually making sounds that I can't comprehend as a human. So that's what I'll try. Hey dude. Enjoying the view? Oh! <gasps> Bye bye, dude. This is gonna be the funny sound stream. Are you in someone's house? It's locked. Of course it's locked. I don't want anybody to go in the house. Can I go back here now? Maybe there's somebody hiding in here? Nope. That's just Sierra's special place. Can't touch these statues. I wouldn't be surprised if one of them is hiding and disguised as a statue, honestly. Perhaps the big statue? Biggie statue? It's even spookier at night because it's large and foreboding. Bodacious. House? Nope. House? Nope. Other house? Stanley's not home. Hey, bud. Who's in there? Poo! <laughs> Sorry. <gasps> oh! I have spooked yet another sending. Well, oh, I guess the other ones are probably near the beach. That other up near the vault. It's one or the other. I'm gonna guess the beach. That's my that's my take. Bet it's gonna be the beach. I can't go home. I have settings to spook. My bet did not pay off. Oh, unfortunate. Hey, dude. Hey, hey, bro, bro. I nearly didn't see you there. <sighs> now I have to ponder what the fifth one's gonna, what sound the fifth one is gonna make. I think it's gonna speak normally with a sound that sounds like a name. Um, boo. Jet fuel can't melt still beams. Ooh, 
Good job speaking those spoke. Sp <laughs> Good job spoken those sandings, though. Says some of them run past me to the vault. They were terrified. You did a number on them. What? No. Well, maybe one of them. <laughs> I put my hands on its shoulders. <laughs> it dare Wills jumped out of its cloak. Um, I'm just kidding. They're, they were fine. Probably. I do not know how to read their facial uh, facial features to get like an idea of like body language and stuff. It's it's very very difficult for me to do. So I I just I just don't know. Probably. Well, probably. I was hoping I would run into you. I want to show you something. Is it something spooky? I'll wait on the bridge. Oh, what? Why not, dude? Wait, why? Why not? What are you doing? Oh, okay. When my son went missing, I lost the ability to feel. My whole world was in flames. I just kept thinking, tomorrow. It'll all stop tomorrow. I know you feel the same way about what you've lost. I'm not making any sense. Every night I come here and I put one of these in the river. So hopefully he'll see one and come back to me. It's got his name in it, see? Solve. That was the name of her child. I made one for you too. D don't worry, I made sure it was green. Because green, I'm assuming, is Alexander's favorite color. Now I feel bad that I insulted the color pretty much right after I got into the house. So your sisters know so your sister knows you want her to find you too. Shall we put them in the water together? I like the little, little water lanterns. Aww. Alex is just like, man, I love the color orange. Things are starting to get much better. Thank you, Nora. Come on, Alexander. I have one last thing to show you tonight. And that's a cliff. So, what do you think? I don't think. The stars. They're beautiful. I'm glad you think so. I'd like to cash in the secret I want off of you at the pub. Come to think of it, I don't think the game was actually a random chance. I got the strangest of feelings that, um... Got the strangest of feelings that the game wanted me to win at least once. I'm not sure what to say. Come on. What's something you've never told anyone? What is something I haven't told anybody? Ever. What have I literally never told anybody of? I'm a very open book. I'm trying to think of something I've never told anybody. Let's see. Let's make a new sentence that I've never said. I... No, really, I've told people about that, too. The first thing that came to mind was drinking weird mixtures at restaurants and stuff with salt and pepper and stuff like in them, but people knew about that. Um, I don't know. I got nothing. <laughs> I'm an open book, dude. I'll think of something, maybe. I'm, um, I'm self-conscious about my ears because they're, like, they're not really fully fleshed out. As you can see, they only take up about one or two pixels of space. It's, it's a little self-conscious, I admit. What? That doesn't count. There's nothing wrong with your ears. They're just as large as mine. Also two pixels wide, but not as pixely tall like yours. Hmm. They are kind of different. You don't think they stick out? I think they stick out in a very good way there, Alexander. Of course not. Hmm. Thanks. Can I have your secret now? All right, then. You've probably noticed already but uh i speak with a lisp the secret is that even though i don't even though i don't want to be i'm ashamed of it what as if you do <laughs> it's it's okay i know i do but thanks for not noticing y'all didn't notice i didn't notice see it's like nothing although who am i to downplay somebody else's feelings everything that surrounded them the need for sleep 
It was forgotten. Neither one of them wanted a single thing from the other, except the initial exchange of secrets. That was one thing. Instead, they simply needed everything. And happiness hit Alexander like a freaking train. Choo-choo! I have one last question for you tonight, Alexander. Despite the fact that the sun is very clearly rising in the distance, it's not really night, but let's just call it dawn. Shoot! Can I call you Alex? No one had ever given Alexander a nickname before. Except for this guy. For some reasons he didn't quite understand, this gesture made a lot to him. Oh well. Yes. Please, call me Alex. Okay. Alex. But that means I get to call you J. Quell. Because you, you made my name shorter, so I get to make your name longer, right? There you two are! We've been worried sick. Both of you, come home and get some sleep. You're gonna be so late to the vault. Kay's rage may cause her to... do something illegal. It's a shame we don't have any law enforcement in this town. I'm glad to see you two are friends again. Friendship. Later that day, something terrible happened. Maybe. Nah, it ain't that bad. We went to the third floor. Ooh. Rico, where are you? It's one of the sendings, which now I know are supposed to be here. Nice. Nice exposition. We appreciate that. Rico, are you here? Rico Cho! No? Okay. Guess I'll read a book or something. Are we gonna head upstairs? Oh, we're not supposed to head upstairs. Looks like we'll be going up to level two. Are you scared? You wish, jellyfish! I just came up with that one. Do you like it? No? Okay, okay. Well, you're still kind of cool, bro. Ooh. Drawings on the ground. The sound of a machine. Machines on the wall. Machines on the wall. Go turn, 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 turn. Oh, for flip's sake. Why are you two here? Well, that's not nice. We were worried about you. I'm sorry. I've been up all night. <laughs> that's okay. I forgive you. Thank you, Alexander. You forgive people so easily. Why did you leave last night? It's nothing for either of you two to, wor you two to worry about. But Rico... Butts are for sitting, mostly. <laughs> Puns. I love this game so far. This is excellent. Oh, everything flashes. And the door is gone. Ah! Now what the flip was that? Typical. What do you mean by typical? This is what everyone means when they talk about the vault being dangerous. It's so old, it's falling to bits. Literally, that door just straight up fell out of existence. After she walked through it. There is something very off here. We better make sure Rico's okay. Oh. Hmm. What is it? Is the door gone or something? <laughs> the door is gone. <laughs> I take it you don't know how to get it back? I do not. That is a problem. You don't seem worried? Well, I was just thinking. She wasn't all that nice just now, so... What's that got to do with... Jake? You're not suggesting... Oh my god, Drama Llama. I was kidding! Oh. Right. Sorry. What should we do? I expect if we turn the gears back on, the door will come back. Let's look for clues. I'll check out these bookcases. Go team! That is lame. Journal updated. Jake. Kinda cute. Lame with the words. <sighs> Not gonna worry about the lisp. Check. Alright, well what else is there to check out other than books? Well, clearly I see a collection of book colors on the table. Nope. Oh, green. 
Okay. Okay. So it's green, blue, orange, red. Wow! <laughs> Colors, dude! Save record complete. Woo! You did it! Are you sure you want to save Rico right now? Are you sure you're kidding? Reasonably. Let's go! <laughs> Into the door! Chapter 2. Finding the end. Nice. Well then. This has been quite nice so far. It's not there. Now, okay. This is chapter 2. We begin it on chapter 2. Kind of like this so far. It's rather enjoyable. I, I'd say... I'd say it's on my... Initial impression so far. It's nice. There's more lore to be had. There's some other stuff here and whatnot. You made it to chapter two. Congrats. You made it here too. Also, congratulations. But seeing as there's a three, there's three parts to this, and I feel that it's appropriate to do things in pieces this time around. So if we wind up coming back to this game, which, oh my God, what was the name of this game again? Oh my God, I almost forgot. Newfound Courage. That's what it's called. Oh my God, I can't believe I totally blanked on that for a moment. That's where I'm going to end it for now. Maybe we'll come back to it. I'm uh, I'm on the fence about it. I'm on the fence about it. This feels like one of those ones that we'll that we could do again, like maybe on a weekend or something like that. But alas, we'll see. We'll pick up on this next time, potentially. But until then, everybody, I'm very glad that you were all able to join me for this. It's been nice so far, and I am very curious. Maybe you are too, for chance. But who knows? We'll have to see next time on Party with an X. Maybe? No, that's not the name of the show. In any case, thank you everybody so much for watching, coming along, and having a good time as well. To all of you all out there, if it's the evening, have a wonderful evening. If it's the day where you are, may you have a wonderful morning. If you are stuck somewhere between night and morning in that order, kind of like Alex and Jake were, then I hope you have a wonderful dawn. Party on, everybody, and until next time, y'all. Bye.